Welcome to Old Guys Gentlemen Flex Fountain Pens, episode number, not sure, again, probably 86, 87, something like that. Anyhow, what I'm going to be reviewing today, this should be a relatively short one, is this Pilot Custom 912. And I've reviewed this pen before. I think I reviewed one like this that was um, modified by... I think it was John Modishaw. And now this one, which I also got from nibs.com, and it was modified to be additionally flexy. It came as an FA nib, a Falcon nib, and um, then he I also asked him to make it more flexy. So you'll see that in the writing example. And then I sent it off to Hiroko Makino, Japan, and she is a... Urushi artist and she's done other pens for me this is the last one that she did it's somewhat expensive but I I know because I tried to do some something like this myself and then got scared away from the uh, the potential bad effects of the Urushi oil which is like poison ivy so I think she charges something it was something on the order of $400 or $500 to apply this. You send a pen in, and it's got to be a pen where the cap can come off or that there's, excuse me, where the clip comes off or uh, there's no uh, clip at all. This is a, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell it from looking at it, but this is a Mont Blanc, and it's the calligraphy pen because it's got to be flex, right? And yeah, so I really like what she did with that and immediately got myself in the queue which at the time was about four months and now it's on the order of five or six months uh, she lets you know when she's ready to accept it and then you send it in and then I think it takes two two and a half months for her to do the work on this but let's just take a little bit more time to take a look at how how cool this is The way this is made, oh, by the way, she carried this all the way down into the section. And, you know, I, I just know that there's really no way for you to see how gorgeous this thing looks. By the way, you're not supposed to uh, post it, but I do it kind of lightly and not notice any bad effects back up a little bit here but it really turned out nice so let me um, let me get my cheat sheet out and tell you a little bit more about it so again it's the pilot custom 912 with a 14 K FA nib there it is right there Oh, by the way, uh, I thought it was appropriate to put red ink in here, so I've got my favorite series of inks, which are the Pelican inks, which um, for me seem to perform the way I like best in almost all my pens. Uh, this is called Brilliant Red. Um, boy, I just love Urishi. This uh, form of pen art it's going to make me, has already made me a poor man. It will make me even poorer as time goes on. Um, yeah, the more I look at it, the more I love it. <laughs> okay, back to telling you about the pen. As I said before, the Flex was added by John Modishaw at Nez.com. I did that first, and then I sent it off to um, Hiroko uh, Makino. Now, the style that she uses, is, and it's called uh, Kinmushi Kiki Nuri, Kinmushiki Nuri. That's how it's spelled right now. And the way they do this is they start with. This is actually the same model uh, pen with no no Urushi, Urushi on it. They might do multiple layers of this, but they put black Urushi on there, and uh, they probably uh, sand it and polish it. And there's a curing process. And then what they do is they sprinkle uh, barley or rice husk. 
and it creates these kind of void spots and they um, they end up pulling those things off. I think they must put down gold powder or gold leaf and then they uh, pull the, um, I may have this order wrong, but these are kinds of, the kinds of things that they do. Uh, they, um, they are able to pull off all the rice husks leaving these these black black void spots that are surrounded by um, gold or silver powder or leaf and then they put uh, either a clear or a red clear finish and she told me that she used a red clear finish on this and there might be more than one you know a lot of times when you have a lot of stuff like this and if it's not done well if you put the light shining on it you can actually see dimples and bumps and stuff from the different things that were done and there's none of that here uh, I think that's a sign of a really good piece of um, Rushi on a pen so then it's dried cleaned probably sanded and uh, polished and cured some more. Probably a month ago, if I was touching this pen, I would have something similar to poison ivy or oak all over my hands. <laughs> but the curing process uh, gets rid of the, um, the harmful oils. Oh, there's a nice little, I assume that's her signature there. Probably holding it upside down. Let's see if my Translate app will tell me what that says. But she did a really nice job. And I'm in the queue again for another one in uh, six months. And I'll have to figure out what, what pen to use next. I think I'll try and find a pen that has no clip on it that's more traditional. You know, something that lo looks a little bit more like this cigar shape but without the clip. Besides being really pretty uh, it has that John Modishaw modified nib and let me show you what this thing does um, these are just light strokes probably close to triple extra fine double extra fine something like that Lots of variation. You know, constantly think, I can't overdo it, I can't overdo it, don't do too much. <laughs> it's smooth as butter. Uh, the polishing job that um, John Monashaw did on this is, is really good. Uh, I think on this one I asked for more of a needle point and it can be a little feedback in, you gotta be careful It'll catch on, on rough pieces of paper. Uh, let me see the response. Really good response. probably notice as I was writing here that there was a couple of points where I ended up with a little railroading. This does tend to be a, a, a drier ink, so a wetter ink might, might be a little bit better for that. The other thing is if I just 
take my time writing, uh, like you see up here, uh, there'd be no, no problem at all. Actually, that probably would be good for me as my handwriting is not so great, but if I slow it down and think about what I'm doing, it gets better. So, there you go. Pilot Custom 912 uh, with a Falcon nib that's been modified by John Modishaw to add some more flex. And then a uh, Urushi style of Kinmushiki Kui Nuri <laughs> by Hiroko Makino. Uh, this is in, the, is in my top three pens right now. Oh, the other cool thing that um, Hiroko did, she didn't do this before, and it probably doesn't cost her that much to do it. In the package, she had this cool piece of um, cotton fabric that uh, is just something that's kind of cool that I might use for a while. Of course, I need to find out where to put some of my recording equipment. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it has her uh, Boca Mundo. I guess maybe I didn't mention that. If you are interested in checking her stuff out, it's uh, Boca Mundo. And I'll put that on the screen, and I'll put a link in the uh, in the description as well. Uh, but this must be your logo. I hadn't seen this before, and if I were to guess, these are some of the tools of um, Urushi. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, thanks for uh, for watching.